second video for the morning 28 november 2021 uh, many of my my newer followers um, have been subjected to harassment to be contacted um etc etc by um one johannes annes lotring aka scott farkal aka about 70 other known pseudonyms that he's, he's used through through the throughout the, the years he's also um, assisted by quite a few fake profiles we know most for, for the most part who the people are behind those fake profiles as well as people that in actual real life do follow him uh, people are asking me skulk what's your beef with this guy what is his beef with you um, i'm not going to delve deep into what happened pre-2018 uh, everybody and anybody knowing something about the very sad incident of the Gurumach case will know that there were people involved in setting up that operation. Um, and unfortunately, I'm, I'm a person that do not stand for things like that. And uh, we exposed quite a couple of, of, those, of those people involved there. I'm not going to say more. The history is, is well known by now. Any, anybody and everybody uh, associated with that incident is, is fully well aware of, of what happened there. There, so there is, is a little bit of background there. Uh, I can also inform you as to during that time I was uh, told, and I will say this on video, uh, I was told that uh, this Mr. Lotteren in Paris was indeed also involved with child prostitution, apparently in Vereniging, um, in those areas, um, and that he actually impregnated a young colored uh, prostitute. Now, uh, and I, I, I must I must put this on the record. I investigated this uh, to quite some extent, even going to the people identified to me as to be involved in, in this. Uh, elderly people, um, I spoke to, to the, the young lady supposedly um, involved in this. Um, nothing came from that. They, they were not willing to uh, make police charges. They were not willing to, to lay down any affidavits, etc., etc. Um, I will leave it at that. I will leave it at that. I will take that as simple and pure rumor until such time as, as people bring me ample proof of that. But I did make this uh, very well known to Mr. Lotter and I gave him ample time at, at, at that stage to also respond to, to that. Um, the response, and I will publish that gladly, uh, was a very evasive one. But I leave it at that. Uh, at this point in time, there is no facts, no facts whatsoever that uh, can cause me to go and make a, a charge against him at the police or take this on any in any other legal avenue. So let's put that that to bed. The Burmach issue and this this issue of of the, the child prostitute in in Vrienachum. Let's put that that to bed. Late in 2018, about November 2018, I think Mr. Rotring very well uh, aware uh, of. Uh, the, uh, the struggle for the Afrikaner, the Boer people, to, to uh, be free in South Africa, uh, keeping his eye very close on what is happening so that he can report to whoever he is he's reporting. And I'm very sure he's reporting. I will get back to that later on in this, this, this video. Uh, once again, out of the blue, one day contacted me to tell me that uh, a certain lady, and I'm not going to divulge her name, uh, contacted him and said that I was now harassing her sexually on Facebook. Now, I don't know how you do that, but I was harassing her sexually on Facebook and that if I did not stop with that, he would publish everything so that I would be then kicked out of the National Conservative Party. At that point in time, I was the, uh, the chairperson or something, I'm, I'm not sure, or the legal officer. I laughed it off. For the very simple reason i was very well aware of of this lady i knew exactly where she fit in and um, of course there was nothing of the kind that ever happened between me me and and uh, they, there was definitely no harassment uh, um, especially not from my side so i laughed it off um, now this angered mr lotring to a tremendous uh, extent and uh, from there on now we're speaking november 2018 from there on um, it just simply escalated. Now, in the meantime, he has uh, um, yeah, gone to my ex-wife, my extremely embittered ex-wife. I'm also not going to uh, expunge too much about that uh, because it is due to my mind a finalized case. 
I, I sued her in 2014. I sued her. The documents are, are open. You can go to to Welcome Court, to Welcome Regional Court, and, and go and ask for the documents themselves. You will see what was what was alleged there. Who was the person bringing the case? Being myself, I sued her for for divorce. Um, and uh, what ensued was a, an extremely bitter divorce, an extremely bitter custody battle, literally raging on until today. So he then uh, took her under his so-called wing. He was also very well aware of uh, my, my uh, pr uh, troubles with uh, a certain family, Lotter. Um, Daniel Lotter, the, the ex, now ex-leader of a failed uh, party called Front National. Ironically, myself, Hannes Engelbrecht, so, uh, somebody totally different, um, uh, a person by the name of... Uh, um, Gordon Fox, um, there was there, there, there were quite a host of other people. Dan Root was involved. We we created uh, first we created a, a, an organisation called Section One uh, Two Two Thirty Five, and from that was was born Front National Front National in in, in South Africa. Later on, I I went out of that party. Um, the uh, the resignation letter um, I can I can send it to you now. It's still there. Um, it, it was very clear to, to me that it, it was infiltrated in any event and it was going nowhere. It, it was simply a setup uh, trying to, to, to stop real self determination in South Africa. But okay, that's that's long history. He, he then went and he also took young Lotter and his mother, Pops Lotter, under his wing. I'm speaking of Hannes Lotter now doing this because he knew that the Lotters were extremely embittered in me because I basically destroyed the career path, the political career path of young Lothar in, uh, in, in politics. Uh, from there on, he went literally to any, any, any person and every person that he thought would be my enemy so that they could all be in this little group trying to, to bring me down and, and uh, trying to uh, spread the, the most heinous of, of rumours against me. Uh, as I said, 2018 until today. Now, the main accusation seems to be that um, I'm, uh, I'm harassing women on Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever medium. I don't know on, on which, which medium. So that, that seems to be the, the main bone of contention. Then, apparently now, recently, through, through all the things of my wife, uh, that I'm not looking after my children, I'm not contributing to my children, uh, and therefore I'm a poor or a deadbeat dad. Um, heinous things has been said about Leone, somebody that only came into my life 18 months ago. People uh, on their side, on Lotterling's side, literally haven't even met Leone in, in, her, uh, in, in her person. She's busy now with her own cases against him. It's sub i I'm not going to... to uh, divulge anything further beyond where I'm also involved, um, it's, it's gone mad. So, so it seems to me it's, it's the whole thing of me um, harassing women, and I will get to that in a, in a little bit more detail, and me being a dead, dead be dead. Then there's also all kinds of allegations that I'm unemployed and I, uh, I'm basically, well, well one day I'm, I'm so rich that I, I have uh, watch collections of half a million rand, but the next day I, I would read that I am so poor um, that I can't even afford to, 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 to own a car. Uh, all kinds of contradictions. I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even going to, uh, to, to, to respond to, to those nonsense. Um, but those, those seem to be the, the issues. Okay, let's, let's deal with the issue of me harassing women on some platform somewhere. Now, this has been since 2018. So it, it seems to me as if the allegations is then 2018 or earlier, uh, if, if you think logically about this, this now. There's very little logic on Lotharing's side, but let's, let's try to be logic about, logical about this. I have not once, I have three times, three times challenged him to bring forth those women so that they can go to the police station, make criminal cases, lay civil cases against me and get harassment orders. Three times. Now obviously it has not happened because it does not exist. But today once again, on a slaughtering, in front of the whole of South Africa, I'm challenging you to send those women that you allege I am pestering and harassing 
and what what sending videos and I don't know what what the hell is is are, are all the allegations. Please send those women now to the South African Police Services. Victims of harassment are met with open arms by the police. Send those women so that they can make cases under oath so that the police can investigate. Number two, you always brag about your very high-powered female attorney who seems to be a female activist herself. Please send those women then to her so that they can sue me uh, in a personal capacity civilly. Okay? And then lastly, very easily, send them to the harassment court and have them under oath claim that I do harass them and therefore they need harassment orders against me. Just simply do it. Now there's a footnote to this, uh, Hannes, and the, the footnote is a very simple one. Skalk van der Merwe and Hannes Lothring knows this to be absolute nonsense. It's something you thumbs up or you were told to, to say on, uh, on social media. It's a very simple ploy, this thing of uh, alleging so-called sexual misconduct against powerful men and especially people in the political realms. Because if the mud is thrown, then usually a little piece of that mud sticks. And people, unfortunately, they like these hot stories, these sensations. And then a name is created, a reputation is created against that person. It's certainly not a new ploy. It's been done over and over and over again. And remember now the time lapse. The first time that, that you came with these allegations were back in 2018. It's three years later. Now tell me this, in three years, if I was harassing women by sending videos and photos and harassing them and I don't know on what medium I, I, can, I can do those things, but if that was happening over the last three years and you've made that big expose of me now in 2018 and literally every day since then, don't you think that there would be women coming forward to the media, the actual media, stepping up to the media and saying, yo, you'll have to investigate this guy. He's, he's really making trouble. Um, he's, he's, a, he's really a bad guy. You, you, must, you must really go in and investigate that. Okay? But my challenge to, to use is a simple one. Last time I gave you two weeks, two weeks to respond. And obviously nothing happened. Now your time is running out. Because there is, as you know, already several cases now on the roll from Leonie's side because she was now also drawn into this. You know that there is a harassment order against you. Um, it was delivered via your attorney. Unfortunately, your attorney seems to not be on record anymore for you. Um, I don't think she was ever. But secondly, um, it is also very clear that at this point in time, um, you have been furnished with the, with the police with the notification. So, so you know about that. Um, where do I, I get in into this picture? And this is not sub judica because I'm directly, directly made a party to this. An allegation is made against Leone and me that somewhere during last year, it seems to me uh, about August or whatever, Leone was uh, allegedly by you and her ex-boyfriend um, pregnant to a child of his. Now, I don't want to delve too, too far in, into this because it's really personal things this, but there was nothing of the kind at that time. But then you go further, then you say that Leone and I used his money, I do not know how I, I could have done that, but used his money and Leone had an abortion so that I could go on with her relationship with me. Okay, that is the allegation that you are making against me and Leone. It's already encompassed in, in her, in her uh, cases against you. Uh, but I'm, I'm certainly going to take you up on that. And I'm also going to take up um, the ex-boyfriend. I'm going to name him. His name is Marius Swanepoel. I'm going to take him up, him up on that. I want proof of that. And I want proof of that within 48 hours from now. If you do not provide proof of that, then obviously there's going to be criminal, civil and other uh, remedies that I will follow. 
not against you alone, against him too. If you really know the situation that happened between Marius Swanepoel and Leone, if you really knew what, what transpired during that failed relationship, and I think you, you got a little sneak peek in the communication between the two of you that forms part of the documents you, you received, you would know it as, as well as I do that something like that is not, not even impossible, it is, it is just simply a figment of a very crazy man's imagination. But unfortunately, you were so stupid as to go and put that onto social media, public social media, and name him. Okay? So there's your second problem. Now let's deal with the issue of me being a deadbeat dad. Really? Since 2014, up to today, I've been fighting a legal bed battle to get my children uh, into my sole custody because the mother has been declared by her own, not one, two psychiatrists as to be narcissistic. Right? Now, if I was a deadbeat dad, why would I go through literally millions of rands of legal costs to secure the custody of my children to myself? I would just, just have, have simply walked away, as most deadbeat dads, as, as you did with your child. Because I know about her too, Annabelle. I would just simply have walked away. So what's the, what's the, the nexus here now? Secondly, you must remember that there is a court order in place, a divorce court order, a divorce where I sued the mother. And in that court order, we have shared, we have similar rights. I have all my rights to, to my children as envisaged in, in the Constitution and the Children's Act. My children are with me half of the time. Now there's already cases on the roll now, instituted and instigated by you, not one, three, of which one was already removed from the role, and one will be removed from the role very shortly, and one will be removed from the role in January, in which it is claimed that I'm not contributing to, to the maintenance of my children. My children are with me half of the time. Do you know that? Are you even aware of that? The mother herself and I was not even aware of this, has come out now under oath to say that she resigned from a very highly paid position, took her pension funds, her pension money, to pay off her lawyers, because she has been never-endingly litigating against me since 2014. Who's not looking after who now? My children cost me 30 to 40,000 rand a month, which is very easy for me to prove because I have an actual banking account, something that we, we found that you do not have. But I have an actual banking account, right? Through which all expenses run. And I do it electronically so that there's proper uh, record of what goes on in my banking account. Now, if the mother resigned and the mother has no income, then how, how is she looking after the children? The vehicle that she's driving? Whose vehicle is that? I bought her that vehicle. Cash. She's still driving it up to today. And so I can go on and on and on and on. The house that I'm living in in Nenenman, for a very long time you spread rumors about this house to, to, to be broken down, dilapidated, what what. I'm sitting in my house in Enenman as I speak to you, right? You caused a dispute between the elderly people to whom I was paying this house off to assist them so that it went to court and eventually they had to pay for a botched court case that was never supposed to be on, on, a, on a court roll, whilst their money was lying already in the trust account with attorneys. But you caused it. 
I hear now that the, the elderly gentleman is deceased. I'm very sure what, what, what you did was contributory to, to, his, to his demise. I was told by, by his family that he, he lives under this tremendous burden of this issue of, of the house not being finalized. The, 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 the case of, of the, 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 the house is finalized months ago, if not years ago. There was never a dispute. But you caused it by telling those people that I do not have an income and I've left their house, their house, dilapidated in any month and people are breaking down the, the windows and, and stripping it out on, on the inside. You did it. You caused a dispute that cost them, I would calculate, about 150,000 rand. So, Lothring, the homework, the homework that, that you need to do for me within 48 hours, those women that you allege I'm doing something with, harassing, what, what, I want those cases, I want those case numbers, I want those harassment orders, and I want them within 48 hours. I want proof of what you and Marius is saying about me and Leonie within 48 hours. Okay? As to the nonsense that, that you're spreading about me and my children, they are court cases and you're aware of it. And I will fight them in court. I hope you're aware of the other case that you instigated. The one at High Court. And I don't want to divulge too much because I think that poor person was also drawn into this whole thing uh, totally unnecessary. That case was struck from roll already. The case of the other attorney, and I'm not uh, at liberty to, to discuss that on, on any media, that case also is now up for proper adjudication only in May next year. So that also didn't work, right? So yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There's a little surprise coming to you next week already. But uh, let's see by next Friday if uh, you could have done your own work and if you can deal with whatever is really coming to you legal-wise at this point in time. Skulp van Amara signing off. Have a tremendous day. And my regards to, to Aunt Pietra. And my apologies that uh, apparently yesterday evening she was not in a very good place when she realized there's now litigation against you, which by its very virtue means it's litigation against her because you married within a community of property.